And my apologies for the last video cutting out um, day four. I'm just leaving the the veterans facility out here. Um, I started to get choked up in my last video. I had to I had to cut the camera off for a minute. I you got to forgive me. It's still new. I want you guys to be able to see the emotions and and you know the ups and downs that I go through out here or whatever else, but. Um, it's still hard for me to, to do that, you know, <clears throat> what had happened was I, I talked to a vet briefly while I was in, while I was inside and, um, you know, he was telling me a story, uh, and it, and it just, you just look at it and you just, you know, for one, I'm thankful that. Most of my friends, most of everybody I, I have in my inner circle, they're all good. Um, they work. You know, they, they have families. They have people that care about them. Um, for the most part, they're good. You know, we all have our little scars and bumps and bruises and things. But for the most part, we're good. And uh, being in there and talking to talking to that guy, um, him sharing his story, I just find tremendous courage in people that, um, that have been out there and, and done some of those things. I don't want to really share his story because it's not my story to share. It's not my story to tell. We all have our own stories, you know? He's lost friends, and I've lost friends. And, uh... I guess it's all part of the ride, guys, you know? But, um... If he's watching this... I'd like to say thank you, sir. I appreciate your service. And, uh, I admire your heart. Keep pushing. Keep going. You're doing good. Now, getting back on track. Um, on the hit list now that I've got my appointment set up for Thursday to come back out here and get busy with the process um, is to sec secure a, a better place to stay tonight. Last night, again, I, I stayed in the FJ and uh, it was like 9 degrees. Uh, I, I didn't really get cold, but I'm not getting a lot of rest either. So tonight, um, I'm going to do what any logical person would do. I'm going to see if I can find indoors, somewhere warm, Cuddle up in a blanket. I mean, if I was out here and in need, which I, I guess I am, but... I just caught myself. <laughs> I just said if, if. If I was out here in need. It's a mentality, I think, guys. You see, I never, def I never believe that I'm defeated. I never believe that I'm beaten, broken, unable. And I and I don't mean to blow sunshine at you. I don't mean to boast. I really am not trying to boast. But I think that that's a very good quality to have. Because as soon as you start believing that you're beaten or defeated, you are. You know, if you beat yourself, nobody else has to beat you. So, every day that I've done this so far, I look at myself as somebody on the outside looking in. Even though I'm going through it. I am doing the motions. Uh, I'm out here. My feet are cold just like them. My hands get cold just like anybody else. I get hungry. Um, I've... I've been drinking snow water 
which takes forever to melt, by the way, if you don't have it above flame. Um, you're better off melting a small, a small portion of it at a time. It turns the water a whole lot quicker. Uh, but anyway, all that aside, we're going to find a place to stay tonight, and we're going to try to hustle up some more money today. I'm also going to do some more reading in, in my book that I keep by my side, Pathfinder. Um, I'm not trying to promote any kind of reading materials or anything, but i tell you what, I like this book, you know, um, thus far it, it's pretty good. I'm not, I'm only about an eighth of the way into it, but it's been pretty good and I, I can definitely see how, how it could help people. Um, and I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to apply I'm going to apply the principles. My mission, guys, right now is to is to try to be is to try to be a person I'm really not. Is to try to be a broken, battered, beaten down person that just needs a lot of help. Um I am trying my best to remain open-minded. I am trying my best to listen to people I'm not getting to talk to a lot of people, but the ones that I have, I'm trying my best to remember their stories and to just wholeheartedly feel where they're coming from. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I think that a lot of the stuff, I get the feeling that a lot of the stories being fed... are probably over 50% bullshit. I gotta be honest. However, I think that that, I think that those lies are backed up. They have some truth in them. Um, a lot of what I see is the lack of people willing to take responsibility for for what they've got going on. Now that's coming from me and I've only been out here four days. I don't mean to judge. I don't mean to judge. But it's a feeling that I get. And I'm pretty good at going with my gut feeling. It's kept me alive this far. You know, in some pretty hairy situations. So, I tend to trust it. Um... Needless to say, though, even though a person might be, you know, um, a little bit delusional in their thinking, or how, what's a good way to say it? They might be feeling a little bit of self-pity or whatever else. No matter the problem, the fact still remains that there's a problem. And the fact still remains that when when something's broken, it needs fixed. I kind of think it's a leader's job. It's a team's job to fix something that's broken. You know, if a piece of machinery at work goes down, it starts to fail... One of the workers raises his hand and says, Hey, this pile of junk over here is not working. Supervisor gets a hold of it, fills out a little, you know, request to have it fixed or whatever, and sends it on up the chain, and there you go. His part's done. Gets up the chain, somebody finally comes down and fixes the piece of equipment. The wheels might turn slow, but they do turn. That's what's going on out here with these people. You know, they're... the. The system is broken. Their system, their way of thinking is broken. Um, on the other hand, some of it's really good. Their sense of community, if it was channeled correctly, it would be really good. You know, they're, I've seen, I've seen, just last night, I seen a guy give another guy his last cup of noodles <laughs> well you know it doesn't seem like much 
what are they, 87 cents at a, you know, grocery outlet or something, but 87 cents sometimes can be a lot of cents. I know it sounds ridiculous. And I'm sitting in this $35,000 vehicle and I'm looking at myself going, Richard, this is pathetic. You know, you're, uh, what right do you have to complain? You're driving this badass vehicle and you've got good boots on your feet and you've got equipment in the back of this thing that, that can keep you alive. Why are you complaining? I guess the truth is, guys, there's only so deep I can actually go. If I was to give my whole world up, if I was to walk away from everybody and everything, including this truck, I mean everything, if I was just to walk away from my entire life, I would still get everything back. I would still rebuild. That's the fact. And I'll tell you why. It's because my patterns that I've developed along the way are, are good patterns. They're successful patterns. They work. If you apply them, they work. This video is about to cut off, so I've got to turn it off for now. We'll get more into it later. Until then.